802 was formed in uh, March of 1980 uh, to develop technical standards for local area networks for the interconnection of computers and its peripherals. But the actual birth of the technology occurred a couple decades earlier in the 1960s with academic research in local area networking technologies. That academic research in the 1970s transitioned into commercial products and services based on a variety of local area networking technologies uh, that were proprietary. And the industry uh, realized that having it split up amongst a couple dozen different ways of interconnecting computers would inhibit the growth of the computer industry, the peripherals, as well as the networking industry. So a few of the members of that initial group had experience with standardization development inside of the IEEE's Computer Society, which is where 802 is housed and suggested that the industry players come together in IEEE to develop a single interoperability standard for local area networking so that no matter who was manufacturing the networking equipment or the computer equipment, it would interoperate. And as a result of that, it would enable a much larger market share. And uh, that was the beginning of 802. We decided, we, I'm not sure exactly how we decided, but we decided that the best strategy for getting Ethernet out into the world to connect everything together was to make standards. So we began conspiring to create a standards body that would be the appropriate one. And we had witnessed the standardization of the Hewlett Packard instrumentation bus, the HPIB, which then became IEEE 488. And so we decided to take that model, so to create a, a uh, IEEE project and then to submit our specifications, uh, the Ethernet Blue Book, it was called, to that body for standardization. Mm -hmm.